So one of the craziest things I've seen lately is the the whole drama surrounding Ezra Miller. I've made a few videos about it before when the whole drama really started, but then I kind of tapered off on it. But lately, it's just been so absolutely fucking nuts that I cannot believe that Warner Brothers is literally so desperate. I've never seen a company wanting to keep someone who is so obviously terrible for their image that they are literally doing anything possible to try to keep this man and try to keep Flash alive. But at the end of the day, Ezra Miller is now apparently is going through treatment now i mean did they did they find him he was on the run and he's not on the run and he was accused of this that and I, I get so lost when it comes to ezra miller it's absolutely nuts what he's been doing but apparently uh warner brothers now wants to actually can uh the flash due to ezra miller's erratic behavior which I should have seen this, like, this should have happened before. Like, I don't know why this is happening now. What does he have to do? Like, does he have to kill someone to, for them to actually want to get rid of him as Flash or get rid of him, period? I mean, it's just crazy. I've seen, I've seen actors get rid of for much less. You know, when Johnny Depp got accused of everything he got accused of, literally he was axed from everything. Everything. And then now you're going to keep Ezra Miller, the guy who's literally been proving to been doing half the shit that he's been accused of already, let alone the other half of stuff. I mean, it's just crazy to me. I don't know. We're going to get into the article because I need to see what's exactly going on here. But of course, before we do... If you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what it's a story, and let's get into the video, guys. All right, guys, say this article comes from some good old bounding into comics, and it says, Rumor, Warner Brothers Discovery Board wants to go over CEO David Zasloff and shelve The Flash due to Ezra Miller's erratic behavior. It says the rest of the Warner Brothers Discovery Board may not be as enthusiastic about The Flash as CEO David Zasloff. The latter is high on the film and doesn't think Ezra Miller will get too out of control before its release date, but the others aren't so confident. What does... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What does too uh, not too out of control mean? <laughs> so, so you're willing to expect, like, you're willing to accept a certain level of, of craziness, but you're not. You're saying, oh, we can keep him on a leash, but you know he's not actually going to get so far away where he's going to get away from us. You know what I'm saying? Like, how does that even? I can't. I, I've never, I'm telling you, I've never seen a company want so desperately to keep someone. But let's be real as to why they want to keep Ezra Miller, okay? There's only one reason they want to keep this man, Ezra Miller. And it has nothing to do with anything else other than the fact that he goes by they, them. That's it. That's the only reason why. Because he is a non-binary actor, right? That's the only reason why they are fighting so hard to come up with any excuse to want to keep this man around to finish The Flash. That's the only reason. If they get rid of him, then they feel like the mob is going to come after them. Which, honestly, that's kind of what you sign up for. When you pander to the mob and you placate to them, you are eventually going to get eaten by them. That's what the mob does. The mob is only happy with you for as long as you are relevant to them. And afterwards, the mob will destroy you, especially if you try to do something that makes any sort of logical sense. They don't like logic. They don't like sense. That's just the truth. It says, according to a scoop by Twitter uh, user Undercover Audience, Zaslov was outvoted last Tuesday at a meeting about the movie's future as the board wants to shelve it indefinitely. Unhappy, he allegedly called another meeting on Thursday to try to get the result he wanted and shouting match reportedly ensued. Additionally, it said Zaslov is more worried about Aquaman 2 being a dud and doesn't want to cause the studio two failures from DC in a row, nor see two pictures get delayed any further. Fellow scooper Grace Randolph jumped on the story and, though unable to verify the claims, asserts The Flash is facing its moment of truth. I would not be surprised if Ezra Miller, uh, The Flash, actually ends up being canceled. I, I think it should have happened a long time ago i really do when this whole nonsense started coming out and he was on the run he was very when someone's on the run like that come on bro he's very obviously like something is going on and he's just not healthy he's not like right there in the head so when that whole nonsense started happening I don't see why they kept going on. But now, as he came out as a they, them, and started doing his pronoun nonsense, then I started to understand, oh, that's why they want to keep him around so bad. That makes sense. It says, it's possible the Flash gets canceled if the situation with Miller, fraught as it is with felonies and cult-like behavior, gets worse. The release going ahead and Miller staying out of the marketing is just likely, but as a press of time, the troubled actor has chosen option C, counseling. The troubled actor reportedly is seeking treatment for complex mental health agitations. Having recently gone through a time of intense crisis, I now understand that I'm suffering complex mental health issues and have begun ongoing treatment, Miller said in a statement. 
Yeah, of course. The mental health thing is always the crutch. Anytime someone is caught doing something, they damn sure should not be doing. And they honestly, like, I don't buy the whole mental health nonsense. If you want to talk about mental health, we can have the conversation, but I don't buy it. I don't buy it with Ezra Miller. I can see the manipulative kind of, like, attitude and personality that he has where the world basically revolves around him. Anytime someone is such a narcissist that they demand that you call them by their pronouns, that's just the kind of person that they are. And I could just see that he's definitely, I mean, he does obviously have mental health issues, but he has mental health issues but was fully aware of what the hell he was doing. That's the difference. It says, I want to apologize to everyone that I've alarmed and upset with my past behavior. Oh, his PR team's talking for him, it looks like. I am committed to doing the necessary work to get back to a healthy, safe, and productive stage in my life, it added. Statement aside, Miller will likely have to stay out of the proceedings and the promotion of The Flash for the movie's box office to be salvageable. Bear in mind, that's not, say, not, not to say the film is the problem, or even bad for that matter. Zaslav is reportedly thrilled with it, and those who are privy to reactions from test screenings testify The Flash is really good. Scrapping the Flash would be a huge mistake, said Big Screen Leaks on Twitter. Test audiences really enjoy the film, and one person told me they've never seen an audience so into a movie or so excited to discuss it when it was done. Zaslov would add he has big plans for the coming DCEU. We have seen The Flash, Black Adam, and Shazam 2. He said, we are very excited about them. We've seen them. We think they are terrific, and we think we can make them even better. So, we do know that he has a plan to basically completely reboot the DCEU, right? And the DCEU is something that I don't really know a lot of people that are into the DCEU. Why? Because it was garbage, right? Like, DCEU was trying to catch up to the MCU, but the MCU had 10 years of development, right? 10 years of cinematic development where they took their time. Every character, basically, who was important had their own solo uh, movie. Some of them multiple movies like Iron Man and Thor. So they, they had time to really flesh it out, and they started building up through multiple Avengers movies about the ultimate endgame, the ultimate baddie, the Infinity War, right? We knew that that was coming because they built it up properly over 10 years. DCEU tried to take those 10 years, everything that happened in those 10 years, and they tried to do it in two years. It was just impossible. And it was something that was doomed to fail from the beginning, but they never really wanted to put the time and effort. They thought they can just jump right to the Justice League, and it just wasn't going to work. It was not going to work. You can't do that. You have to really take the time, flesh it out, and treat it like a comic book right in your first comic book issue are you gonna go right to the craziness at, at the first issue no you're gonna take your time you're gonna keep teasing it teasing it building up to it and eventually you're gonna reveal the big battle the big trouble that the heroes have to go over dceu didn't do that dceu really tried to just jump time jump and go right to it at the end and that's what ended up making them eventually take the nose fall so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy and if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it. don't forget to like the video comment let me know we thought I'll tell you a story, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.